Morning, another day, another real world test. Today, we're gonna be doing it on the Acer Concept D7 Easel. Now, Concept D is Acer's kind of creator-focused professional lineup, um, and this is the seven series. So like there's a three, a five, a seven, and a nine. So that kind of gives you an idea of where it is. Um, but if you're not familiar with real world tests here, I'm gonna be using this as my real device for the entire day. Uh, and we're gonna kind of check in on the battery, see how it's doing, check on the performance, talk about it a little bit. Um, yeah, and we'll kind of just see how it does. Uh, but first things first, I have a problem with this laptop already. All of my other 15 inch laptops fit in this bag just fine. but not this one. So instead, I have to uh, use this very padded sleeve and put it in that instead. And put that just in a large open backpack, which uh, I don't really, I'm not happy about, but that's okay. Okay, and now. Coffee, check. Firstly, let's talk about the most unique thing about this laptop, the screen. So along with most of the Acer Concept D lineup, the screen is Pantone validated with a Delta E less than two. Now, if you're a designer of some sort, you'll probably know what that means. But if not, Pantone, the color validation company, has a system of numbers that correspond to exact colors. These are usually used in design, especially when printing is concerned, and it allows the designer to designate a color using the Pantone numbers, and then the printing department can use those same numbers and that color system to get the exact same color when it's printed, and not like a slightly darker, lighter, pinker, whatever kind of a shade. Now, having a Pantone validated screen just means that Pantone themselves assured that the screen will accurately display their colors true to life, which could be helpful in some professional settings that use Pantone colors. And then delta E less than two is a measurement of how much a human eye can tell the difference in a color. The lower the number, the less the human eye can tell the difference, and anything under two is considered indistinguishable, basically. Now beyond that, the screen on this easel model, compared to the normal Concept D7 model, allows it to be rotated 180 degrees. This allows you to use it in a few different modes, as you can imagine, showing things to someone sitting across from you, any number of positions in front of you, and it's actually pretty sturdy. I like actually pulling it just a little bit closer to me than it normally would be for some reason. Just, I like it. And of course, laying it down to make it easier to draw. This is a 4K touchscreen with a matte anti-gloss finish, which I always like. And the laptop comes with a Wacom EMR stylus. Wacom being the company that is pretty well known for making styluses for the professional world. And it'll even work with any other Wacom EMR stylus if you already have one. It's as responsive as any Wacom on Windows that I've used. And my favorite thing about it though, is that it has an actual slot to store it in the laptop. Love that. Okay, been using the laptop for about an hour and a half here in the cafe, surfing the web, writing scripts, nothing crazy. Uh, the screen brightness was at 50% for the most part, a couple times up to 100% just to like film the screen, but very, very small amounts of time. And the power setting is at better battery, which is the default, and we are now at 73%. Okay, heading to the new new studio, which I'll explain what that means a little bit later. But real quick, we're gonna have a little Sunday brunch with dad on the way. Hi. You have an option, outdoor or indoor. <laughs> Okay, so this is the new, new studio. Now anyone who's seen this channel before, you might remember that I shared a studio with four other YouTubers, with Michael Fisher, Mr. Mobile, with Jaime Rivera from Pocket Now, MJ from Gadget Match, and David Amell from Android Authority. But then COVID happened and long story short, um, and I don't blame them, but two of the guys left, they couldn't do it this year. Um, so it's just Fisher, Jaime, and myself, and we had to move to a new studio. 
And while this new studio is a lot smaller, um, there's only three of us, so it's not that big of a deal. And also, we have really good lighting. The building itself is a lot nicer. And check out this view. And well, no one else has moved their stuff because the other lease of the other place isn't technically over, so they're just taking their time. I, on the other hand, I moved everything. And um, well, that's just because I'm kind of losing my mind during COVID and just need like a project. So every night I actually had a dolly and then at some point had some friends help me move one piece at a time over here. Okay though, let's talk about a few more things on this laptop. So on the inside, we have a 10th gen i7 processor, 32 gigs of RAM, two terabytes of storage and an NVIDIA RTX 2080 Super. So it's plenty for like video editing or even gaming if you really wanted to. To be honest, on the inside, the laptop has basically every port you would ever need, including two Thunderbolt 3 ports, an audio jack, two USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, HDMI, display port, ethernet port, and even an SD card slot, which I've recently decided I can't have a laptop that doesn't have that now because of video editing. So that's nice to see as well. Now, besides all that, the keyboard is backlit in an orange color that I kind of like, and no, you can't change it, RGB fans out there. And the keys are clicky enough and responsive enough for me, as well as the trackpad. Now, it does take a little bit of getting used to because everything seems like it's just offset slightly to the left. These row of keys here on the right do that to the keyboard, and the trackpad itself is actually just offset to the left. But you get used to it so long as you just kind of offset yourself slightly to the left. Okay been working a little bit here at the studio um, for maybe about two hours. Uh, the first hour or so, I was kind of still using the same things I was doing at the coffee shop. I was just, you know, using mostly the web browser and writing scripts and that kind of stuff. Uh, and then for the last hour, I started to just transcode some footage and like just kind of sort through some of the footage for this video. Um, and of course, as always with these kinds of laptops, that started to kill the battery a lot more. But right now, after that, we are at 22%. Okay, let's talk about the laptop a little bit. Firstly, the battery life. I think that it's probably, for the most part, on par with any other laptop with that kind of GPU and CPU in it. Um, you're probably looking at maybe five or six hours on that better battery mode if you're doing just normal like web browsing and your everyday tasks, and you're probably looking like just under three maybe, I would, I would probably guess, if you're doing more graphically intense stuff like video editing or photo editing and that kind of stuff. Overall though, I like the laptop and I commend Acer for doing a different form factor that's actually quite clever. And, and depending on your industry, could be pretty useful if you use the pen and all that stuff and the fact that it like actually stores in the laptop is pretty neat. Personally for me, it's not something I need. And the fact that it's a lot heavier than my current laptop that has similar, if not slightly more powerful specs, um, doesn't fit in any of my bags, etc. Also, it costs more. Um, it's not a cheap laptop by any means at $4,000 for the spec that I just showed you. There you go. I will leave a link below for you to check out the laptop and also the best deal I could find on it as well. And let me know what you guys thought of this laptop, of this video in general. Again, did a little more bloggy like, but hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video though, please sub up or share it. It's greatly appreciated. Also check out the rest of the channel. If you like what you see there, please subscribe and ding the bell next to subscribe so you get notified when I do new videos. As always though, regardless, Thanks for watching.